Yesterday was a very sad day for American democracy. The Supreme Court's decision on presidential immunity not only guarantees, all but guarantees, that Donald Trump will never be prosecuted for the crimes he committed as president, but it encourages and incentivizes him, because he's a criminal, to commit more when he becomes president. The Supreme Court has become complicit in undermining, undermining the foundations of American democracy, which are checks and balances, which are limiting the powers of any one individual that no man is king except, I suppose, for Donald Trump. And we should remember, this is a Supreme Court that, unlike the people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th, who were acting in anger and in the heat of the moment, and were also enemies of American democracy. The Supreme Court took time. They deliberated. They'd all gone to the best schools and studied the Constitution. And at the end of the day, they decided that their loyalty to Trump, the cult, and the MAGA movement was more important than American democracy. On January 7th, I felt there was a way out. I'm not sure I believe that anymore. The court's strong complicity in the MAGA movement means that Donald Trump may well get whatever he wants.